Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 10. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's going by really fast. And uh, anyway, I just got home a while ago. I've been gone all day long and it's actually a beautiful day. It's been beautiful all day. It's, um, it's kind of humid right now. We're supposed to be getting some storms, a cold front coming through, so it'll be uh, stormy. And so... But anyway, I got home just a little late. I still got to do my chores and I got to get my evening walk. But the sun, it's starting to get behind the tree. So I know I need to, I need to get it in gear. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get up here and share with you guys my finished object for the day. And then I'm going to uh, share with you my uh, old blanket by Maria's Blue Crown that I'm turning into like a baby blanket. And then my surprise scrappy blanket. And then I'll show you the ornament later on tonight. Now, the first one I'm going to share with you, I had so much fun making this, and I've made a few of the others already, and it's the, uh, it's a, it's a snowman. <laughs> it, this is Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. This is part of her series that, uh, Christmas sets that she's got, and uh, I still need to make, I believe it's the angel. And so I, I've got all of them, and I also need to make another Mr. Claus. I forgot about that to go with Mrs. Claus. But I thought this guy was so much fun to make and uh, real easy. And you can find this free on her blog or she also has a paid for PDF download if you'd like to have that instead. But I ended up using Mainstay White. This is Red Heart Super Saver and the Metallic. And I know it's Red Heart because I believe Hobby Lobby's got the silver looking glitter in it, I think. <laughs> At least that's what I'm guessing. And then this is a Red Hearts or Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And I don't know the colorway, but you'd almost guess it's Christmas or mistletoe. <laughs> I'm going to say Christmas. And then this is that um, Red Heart. No, it's actually Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and that metallic looking white there because it's got the glitter in it. And this is Mainstay Orange. And then I gave him some little safety eyes, and then I gave him a little smile. And the only thing that I did different is I added buttons. I hot glued them on, so I just think he's the cutest thing. And so he makes a, a perfect addition to the rest of them up there. And I've actually got him sitting over by the, um, the, the gnome that I made earlier this year, I believe. So anyway, and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook. So, and I love his little scarf. I put the little tassels out there on the, his little fringe, I guess you'd say instead, out here on the end of his scarf. <laughs> so cute. So cute. All right. Now, that's my object for the day. Now, the next thing I'm going to share with you is the blanket. i got to find my squares that I'm going to be, it's Maria's Blue Crayon, and I'm going to be turning it into a baby blanket. And it is free on her blog. And I'm actually starting on row four. And if I remember right, the first colored square is going to be the red. And this is that Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red, I believe, that I still keep forgetting to look. <laughs> he matches my shirt. And then the next one I'm going to be doing beside it is the snowman that Maria came out with. Now, I, I thought it was really cute, and so I decided to go ahead and make that one to put there. And this is Mainstay Black, Mainstay White, and then I just whip stitched the eyes, and then that's that Mainstay uh, Orange. But I just think he's so cute. So I'll be adding this tonight. And then the next uh, colored square is gonna be the, I believe that was Cranberry, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. So that's going to be really cute. So I'll put that in there tonight after I work on my uh, scrappy blanket. Okay, now the next one is the scrappy blanket that I'm really excited about. I can't wait to see these got in here because we actually are starting all over on the colors now. So I told him, I said, try not to pick the same two that you picked before. <laughs> he goes, do you think I would have been able to remember that? And I said, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll have to go back to the video to see if he did, or, or at least look on the blanket. Now I'm going to share with you, or show you, the colors on how they uh, turned out last night. And this is that, um, oh, Red Heart Super Saver, 
Christmas that I held with the uh, scrap ball of, I have no idea what it was, but it was a, like a green like color. And so it, I think it turned out really pretty. And I love this so much. And I'm using a six millimeter hook. And so, yeah, it's working up really fast. And like I said, I put three rows in at night. All right, now we're going to see what two colors he picked to put in the bag. Sorry, I don't mean to talk so fast and try to get this done, but we're actually going to go try and look at the Christmas lights too. <laughs> we're going to see. Maybe we, we might have to wait for a couple of days because he has to go to work in the morning, so. And he has to get up early, so. <laughs> All right, let's see the colors that we have. I feel like I got you guys uh, positioned down a little low, so. All righty. So let's see what we got in here. And I did stick that right back in that bag again. Ah, I just need to breathe. <laughs> i just been going 90 to nothing today. And boy, it was crowded in town today too. Golly. Everybody getting ready for Christmas, I guess. Plus it's Friday and it's usually pretty busy on Fridays. All right. Let's see what colors. It's uh, feels like two skeins is what it feels like. So let's see what we have all right here we go oh yeah that is that is that mainstay uh brown and it's got the glitter in it and they have it with the, the silver looking glitter in there too i'm thinking it's red heart super saver that's got the dark glitter the, like that red it's got like a dark red glitter in, mixed in with it but this is that mainstay brown uh, is it brown or taupe it might be taupe. All right, so that's a, that was actually the first one that I did with the other red glitter. Well, so we'll see if he did it again. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty on there. Very pretty. All right, let's see what we got in the bag now. All right, let me lay that there. I need another another hand, I guess. <laughs> All right, what do we have? <gasps> he got orange. <laughs> So I know he didn't pick these two together last time, so that'll be perfect. And so that's going to be really pretty, and that'll make it pop too. It needed a pop of color there. So we'll sit down there tonight while I watch uh, YouTube, and I'll put these this in tonight. Alrighty, well I guess I'm gonna hop off here and go get my help hubby with chores and then get my evening walk in before it gets dark because it gets dark early now which that always stinks i like it to stay lighter later and all that i'm a night person anyway <laughs> i love being outside when i was a kid i used to hang outside all the time i'd hang it i would hang out under the yard light oh my goodness till wee hours in the morning you know out there playing watching the bats and just hanging out under the yard light <laughs> it was a lot of fun so i'm not afraid of the dark so <laughs> anyhow all right well i guess i'm gonna hop off here and i will see you guys here real soon with the ornament of the day for the tree all right guys it's still vlogmas day 10 and it's time to share with you the ornament of the day to add to the tree over here and uh, by the way, the cats didn't even touch it. They didn't touch it last night, and I've been gone all day. And they didn't mess with it today. Actually, well, they were crashed. <laughs> One of them still is, and the other two are up running around somewhere. So I don't know. But anyway, I guess they were good all day. <laughs> but anyway, um, this one that I'm fixing to share with you is so cute. And I had so much fun making it. And it reminds me. Well, I'll tell you what it reminds me of here in just a second. Just brought back memories. <laughs> it is a snowman, a curly Q snowman. It's actually called, uh, yeah, Curly Snowman Ornament, and it's by Craft Elf, and it is free on their blog. And if I remember right, she's got like an elf and a Santa Claus, and then she's got this one. And it seems like she had maybe a reindeer that I just happened to find the other day. But as soon as I saw it, I had to make it because it reminds me of those vintage curly Q uh, uh, clowns <laughs> couldn't think of it there for a second but anyway uh, 
I, lo I like clowns. I do. I love clowns. And, but yet, I have not made one. But I do have one in mind that I'm going to be making. So, uh, hopefully sometime after this next year, I'm going to get around to making it. But I just think it's so cute. But anyway, I wanted to make this to hang on the tree. And I just think it's the cutest thing. <laughs> now, here's these little arms, which aren't so little. They're long. <laughs> and there's these legs. And he's got a little scarf. And then he's got his little top hat. His cute little carrot nose. <laughs> but I ended up making it out of Red Heart Super Saver in the white. That's got the metallic in it. So it looked like snow. Lean up here. And then I did the scarf in the uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's got the metallic in it. And I'm going to say it's Christmas col uh, colorway probably. And then this is the mainstay orange. And in the for the eyes, I just did little bitty buttons. I don't know if you can see it. And then for the top hat, this is a Red Heart uh, Super Saver uh, metallic black. But I just thought it was the cutest thing. And I believe I used a 3.25 millimeter hook to make it. But she has it to where... You put like a star a styrofoam ball on the inside, but I didn't want to do that. I just ended up doing it, you know, like what she said, and just I just put a fiber fill inside of it instead of a styrofoam ball. But anyway, that's that's the ornament for the tree. <laughs> so he'll be super cute sitting up here. There we are. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. That's what I have to share with you guys today. And I'll put links down below where you guys can go check out everything that I've talked about today. Anyhow, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night. And I'll be uh, seeing you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 11. Hi, guys. It's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? It's cold. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize how cold it was until I come out here and, and sit down, but I am going to do my video, so I'm going to be tough about this. <laughs> I got my blanket sitting here on my lap, so that'll help a little bit. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. Today is actually Vlogmas Day 12, but I missed yesterday, so I'm going to do 11 and 12 together. So I've got my scrappy blanket I need to catch up on and my baby blanket, and I've got one pro uh, project. To share with you and then tonight i'll share two ornaments okay so the first thing i'm going to share with you is the um, project and it i had so much fun making this it was it's really cute and uh, i think she's got like three others uh she's got a well let me show you what it is and then i'll <laughs> tell you it is by the designer that i cannot say her name <laughs> I think it's Rafa Musa Designs, but I don't know how to say her name. So anyway, this is a gingerbread pot holder. And as soon as I seen it, I thought I'm going to make one of them because this is going to be a gift for somebody. And so I think she's got a deer, a Christmas pudding, and there's one other and I can't remember. But I had to make this one. So I did it in Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And this is colorway antique gold, and that's a beautiful color. And then I did it in pink, in red, in the white, in black. And I don't remember what size of hook I did it in. But I'm almost 100% sure I did it in the hook that she requested that you did. And so, but the only thing that I did different on hers, you just did single crochet around it. Because you got two of them here. Well, I wanted to be a little different. And I wanted to do like, uh, to make it look like it had icing around, a little bit of a thicker icing, a little fluffy icing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so anyway, I did like three double crochet and then I would uh, slip stitch in the next one and then go to the next one and do three double crochet. So that's what I did to kind of give it a little bit more detail. But I just think it's the cutest thing. <laughs> And so this is, like I said, it's going to be a gift. And the other, the other thing that I did different was I didn't add the last two rows because this is a pretty good size, and it'd make a cute dishcloth too. So that's what I did there. And I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out if you'd like to make you one. Ooh, the wind's blowing and it's starting to get colder. 
All right, now the next thing I want to share with you is my baby blanket. Now, this is a Christmas blanket by Maria's Blue Crayon, but I'm going to do it in a baby size. And so I'm on, started on row four, and I'm going to actually show you the three rows that I've got crocheted together. And I'm th I think it is turning out really cute. And this is what I got done so far. Minus the border, of course, until I get done. I love this so much. And so, <laughs> I'm actually going to set it on my lap here <laughs> so it'll keep me warmer. Okay, now, the square I showed you the other day, let me get it out here, was the snowman. Now, I think I said it was going to be first in this one. And this is cherry red. I remembered to look this time. So, this is what I got going for the start of the fourth row. And the next one, the snowman's first and then that square the cherry red and the next one that I'm going to be putting on there is a Christmas tree <laughs> now this is by the same designer that uh, I did the pot holder um, and I'm trying to remember if this is free I'm yes it is it's free on her blog and uh, I did it in mainstay green and it's called the uh, Christmas tree applique ornament and so anyway i did it mainstay green and then i just went back and whip stitched um using mainstay orange uh blue gold and then the scrap ball of green and then that's that cherry red to look like it's got um the old-fashioned light bulbs on it <laughs> so anyway i had a lot of fun making this so that'll look really good up and up against this one here all right, and then the color that'll go next to it will be this cranberry from Hobby Lobby. I love this yard. All right, now the square for today is one of Maria's uh, Blue Crown's appliques, and it is a snowflake. I had to put me a snowflake on there, and so I think it turned out really cute, and that's going to be really pretty up next to this one here. And so, and the color that'll go on the other side of it will be the cherry red. So I got to do some catching up. I got to go in there tonight and put this together. All right. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to rush, but it's cold. All right. Now, my scrappy blanket. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Now, um, I've got four colors in a bag. I had to go pick... Uh, two out the other day because I thought I'd be working you know doing a video yesterday and I never got around to it so there's actually four in here and it feels like there's one skein actually there's three balls and one skein so let's show you what the blanket looks like so far I wish that wind would quit blowing it. it's really making it cold <laughs> okay here is the color that we put in day before yesterday and it is that taupe mainstay with the glitter in it and then uh, we held the orange in with it and it is looking so pretty and i love this so much and i'm using a size six millimeter hook and so let's see what colors are going to go in it next I'm gonna just lay it right here and keep me warm all right so let's see what colors he put in here today let's pull out a ball first all right now this will be for day 11. Oh, yeah, that's going to be pretty. Let me set this right up against that orange, and it needed it, too. That'll be pretty. All right, so what color are we going to hold with it for that row? Let's see. Let's pull out. There's a little ball, a little of it in here. Let's pull it. Oh, that's going to be pretty. <laughs> Red and green up against that right there. And that one's got the glitter in it. And I believe that's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, and I think it's Jelly Bean. Oh, that's going to be pretty. So that'll be for row, or day 11. All right, let's see what we got for day 12. All right, let's pull out the skein. Oh, that's going to be pretty up there against that red and green. That's going to be really pretty. And that is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in Berry. So I meant to look to see if he repeated himself anywhere let's see here real quick i don't think he did nope unless here's that 
color right there that's with that metallic blue so let's see <laughs> let's see if he did oh that's pretty oh no i don't think now that i remember i tossed this one in there the other day whenever we were starting over i remember throwing this in there and so because i found it and i thought well i'll just put this in there because i remember i was making a sweater out of this and i didn't like the way it was working out because i've never made a sweater and i need to i'd like to i could sure use one right now <laughs> but anyway uh I remember doing that and so he picked that to go with this oh that's gonna be really pretty and that's gonna be really pretty up against that all right so that's what we'll have to put in there for day 12. all right well i'm gonna throw this all back in here and put it together when i get in the house <laughs> and go warm up before i come out and do my chores i don't think i'm gonna take my evening walk it is too cold <laughs> i guess it'd warm me up but i'm freezing right now but anyway i will get back up here in just a, after a while after we have supper and i will uh, show you the ornaments one for yesterday which was the 11th and one for today the 12th anyway i'll see you in a little bit okay guys it's time to share with you the ornament of the day which actually will be the uh, 11th day and today's the 12th so the first one I'm going to share with you is a free pattern by Maria, Maria's Blue Crayon, and it is a polar bear. Um, I didn't have a bear for my tree already. I thought I did, but I don't, so now I do. But anyway, this worked up really quick, and it's really super cute. And it was a lot of fun to make. And this is free on her blog, and I used Mainstay White, and then the scarf that he has on is that skein of that uh, Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn in red that I got at the antique store. So I've gotten a lot of use out of that skein. <laughs> I still got a, a little bit left. So, but anyway, I just think he's the cutest thing. And he's got little safety eyes that I added and cute little nose and gave him a little tail there. He had to have a tail. <laughs> but anyway, and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook. So this one is for day 11, and I'll be adding him to the tree. Okay, now the next one I'm going to share with you guys brings back so many memories. How many of you guys um, remember, well, I don't remember when they first came out, but it wasn't too long after that. I remember them as a kid back in probably the 70s is what I remember, whenever I remember these, the little Debbies. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I still love them to this day. I, um, they're uh, something that I can get in trouble with. I can just say that. <laughs> I used to eat them like crazy. And uh, as a kid, we would get them as a treat. You know, my mom would bake, you know, like make pies and cakes and stuff like that. But, you know, when you're outside as a kid and you're playing and everything and you took that break and every, we always had a little Debbie's in the kitchen. And so we would eat one of those for a treat. And I really can't say which one my favorite is, but I can tell you that the Swiss rolls, oh my goodness, I would, the one thing I would do with them, and I probably, I haven't had one in a long time, but I probably would still do it to this day. You take them and I would unroll them and then I would eat the, um, uh, Actually, I would eat the outside first. It's got like a real thin layer on it of a, almost kind of a, a real thin chocolate, but it's kind of a crust in a way. I would, I peel it off and then I take it and I unroll it and then I would take the icing out of it <laughs> and then I would eat the rest of it because I wanted it to last longer because there was always, you know, two little round cakes inside of one package. <laughs> They're probably... Back then, those were probably my favorite. But if somebody asked me, which, you know, if you'd like a box of Little Debbie's, I probably would go for the fudge rounds. I do love the fudge rounds. But I wanted to make an ornament for my tree, uh, you know, because you know, I love Little Debbie's. And, uh, and I have made a bunch of these because they're uh, going to be gifts for the family members. And so the first one, I've got two of them here I'm going to share with you. And uh, anyway, here is the tree. <laughs> now, they do make a little Christmas tree. And uh, 
It's got the green icing on it. And then it is a, I believe it's a brownie. And so, and then it's got all the little lights on it, you know, that look like the Christmas lights. So I used Mainstay Green and I used Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the brown. And then all the lights on it, I just did French knots of um, Red Heart or yeah, Red Heart Super Saver and the Cherry Red. And then there is orange and yellow. And then there's purple because I tried to match it up to the way their little Debbies are. <laughs> And, uh, and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook. Now, I used that des designer. Uh, her website is called Raf Rafa Musa Designs. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, she has a free pattern up there of a Christmas tree ornament. And so I got to thinking about it, and I thought that would be perfect to make one of those little Debbies. So that's what I did. And so I think it's super cute and I can't wait to hang it on my tree. Now the other one, I had to do the, the white tree. <laughs> now it's made out of mainstay white and then it's got the green. I think those are supposed to be like sprinkles on them. I actually have some in my cabinet over there that I'm going to be making this dip. My daughter sent me this recipe. You make a dip out of using those white little Debbie Christmas trees. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to, I told her I would be the, um, I guess you'd say the guinea pig <laughs> and try it and see how it comes out. So I'm going to, I actually need to go ahead and do that because I did pick up a couple more boxes of them and just in case it does, you know, work out pretty good and then I can have some to make at Christmas. But uh, anyway, and then it's got the red on there like they do on the tree with the icing. But I just thought it was the cutest thing, you know, to try to do. So I did. <laughs> and like I said, I'm, I made several of these for uh, gifts, ornament gifts for the family. So, all right. And if you guys would like to try, you know, like I said, all you got to do is just follow that pattern and just do two of them, you know. And just hold them together and then single crochet all the way around. And then just go back in and whip stitch with some of the green on there and the red. I just went, I just entered right here and then just zigzagged it with some uh, Red Heart Super Saver of that cherry red. And this does that mainstay green. So, like I said, it's really easy. To say, I did the same with that. Just crocheted it together. And, uh. It's better getting framed there. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, that's what I have to share with you guys tonight for the ornament of the days <laughs> since I missed yesterday. So I guess I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to get busy. My little bear, I'm going to stick it up there. Hopefully the kitties will leave it alone. They've been doing, they've been doing okay. And then they, and then they get into things and they mess it up. I actually found when I was outside doing my video earlier, I found my gingerbread house in the floor. So never a dull moment with those guys <laughs> but anyway i guess i'm gonna hop off here and i will see you tomorrow on vlogmas day 13 you guys all have a wonderful blessed night